Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and as you can tell I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised and if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I remember our Tom fondly. So I'm sick and it's so hard. I just want to do air horns. Why hello my little holiday cookies. Welcome to another fun size Friday. Holiday edition. I don't know why I feel like Sandra Lee, but I feel like I should have a cocktail and a tablescape. If you know, you know, whatever. <laughs> In today's video, we have a lot of high-end holiday nonsense, which actually in reality, Sandra Lee wasn't about the high-end. She was all about the store bow stuff. So that analogy did not work, whatever. You know what I mean though. Listen, I love holiday makeup, I really do, especially high-end holiday makeup because that bitch is a siren. She draws me in and that bitch always distracts me because usually it's garbage quality. And I'm left kicking myself because I should have known better. We have the new palette from Charlotte Tilbury, NARS, Givenchy, and Clay de Po. I know, who am I? Obviously trash. But before I get all Andy Rooney, a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring my garbage antics in today's video. If you've never heard of Skillshare, I got you covered. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for all creators, where you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, or just get lost in the beautiful world of creativity. Skillshare has so many classes, the list is beyond endless. From photography to fine art to even entrepreneurship, they have something for everyone. Whatever you want to learn, they got you covered. Now normally what I like in Skillshare is a lot of their fun creative classes, but honestly I was just looking for something a little bit more bland, okay? And I say this with all love because when I say Skillshare has something for everyone, I'm not being facetious when I say that. I am taking a Skillshare class on Excel. Yes, Microsoft Excel. It's funny because I thought I knew things. I know nothing. What I knew was wrong and my life's a lie. As someone who loves a good spreadsheet, I'm I'm not even lying when I say I love a good spreadsheet, okay? Not only in my professional life, but in my personal life, everything is color coded and mapped out and just beautiful. I love organization, okay? <laughs> And I love spreadsheets. So with that said, I started with Al Chen's first class on Excel for the real world. And now I'm moving on to Excel for the real world too. Double your Excel speed with keyboard shortcuts. This class, I I'm telling, like it's blowing my mind, okay? Like I said, I thought I knew Excel. I didn't. <laughs> Okay. This class helped me learn so much about Excel shortcuts. Also, Al is a great teacher too, so that helps as well. But I actually find myself working smarter instead of harder, which gives me more time to do ridiculous things like these videos. We love that for me. Listen, every human was born to create. So whether you picked up your paintbrush last week or when you were in grade school, you can explore your creativity and get inspired or be like me and make bomb ass spreadsheets. Spreadsheets are sexy. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So with that said, Skillshare wants to inspire learning and creativity. So the offer will now provide the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box. We'll get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today or just, you know, basic skills. <laughs> Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage queen. So listen, without further ado, let's see if I wasted any money. We're gonna start with Charlotte Tilbury. I can't help but not say it like that. We're gonna start with her palette first. And this is the Smoke Eyes Are Forever Instant Eye Palette. This retails for a whopping $75. This palette is broken up into four trios. Love Eyes, Power Eyes, Happy Eyes, and Competent Eyes. You get seven shades classified as either a metallic or a shimmer formula. And the remainder shades are matte with the exception of one shade that's like a matte with sparkles. <laughs> hate that. <laughs> the packaging is fantastic, okay? Charlotte is having a goth moment and I'm here for it. I love it. Honestly, I feel like you can't even see this in the video. Because <laughs> the palette also kind of has like a weird like mirrored effect. If I had it in the background, you would never know it's there. <laughs> it camouflages as well. Anyway, I'm fucking here for it. So when you do open her up, you get a nice full size mirror and you get this lovely little color story. Listen, I don't have many Charlotte Tilbury palettes, okay? And the reason for that is because I think all of them look the same. Yeah, I said it. They all look the same. How many pillow talks could you possibly have? But the reason why I picked up this palette, by the way, I had a lot of coffee today. <laughs> so that's why my energy is like, okay. 
Anyway, the reason why I picked up this palette is because honestly, I lost my shit for this little green section over here. And it's reminiscent of the holiday palette that, I don't know, did it come out last year or maybe the year before? It kind of had like a similar situation going on, except I think it had like a blue in it. I didn't pick that one up. I was like this close, but I wound up not pulling the trigger. I'm kind of glad that I didn't because this is a goth dream that I needed to have. So that said, the only eyeshadow palette that I own from Charlotte is the Pillow Talk palette. And when I first got that palette, I was kind of like, okay, like what am I like? I think it's overrated. And I take that back. <laughs> because the more that I use it and the more that I play with it, the more I realize, oh, I understand why people are obsessed with the brand. She does make some good quality shit. It's just a bit basic, but it performs so well. And honestly, the next basic bitch video that I do, I want to make sure to sing that motherfucker's praises. So with that said, let's break it down by formula. We're going to talk about the mattes first. As I mentioned, there are technically five mattes in this palette. One is like a dreaded matte with some sparkles attached to it. I don't really understand why brands do that. I believe it was like the Tati palette. I think it was called like the sequence shade or something like that. And I think it was like only used for when shades were patchy like it would help it. I think I'm remembering that correctly. And I think that's the reason why that formula exists, I think. But for me, I feel like when I use a shade like that, it's just unnecessary glitter bukkake. So it's pointless in my eyes. That said, the mattes are beautifully pigmented. They blend effortlessly. They have great longevity. I didn't experience any patchiness, any balding, any fading. And even the lightest shade, which is in the love eye section, actually shows up on my uncooked chicken skin. I usually judge a palette by if the lightest shade shows up on me. And this one does, and it's great. I love Charlotte's mattes because they really do the work for you. You don't have to spend too much time jerking this palette off. The blend is unbelievable. And honestly, that is what is required, especially at this price point. Like if I'm gonna be paying a lot of money, I want this to legitimately do the work for me. If I could just lay there and just have someone feed me grapes and this apply itself, it would be even better. But until we get that technology, <laughs> this will have to do. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It wouldn't be grapes, so it would be peanut and ms Let's be real here. All right, anyway. <laughs> the other shade I wanna point out too is actually the black shade, which is the shade that has the sparkles in it. Sparkles aside, whatever, who cares? I actually really like that shade. It's the kind of black that's incredibly pigmented, but you can also control the pigmentation. So when I'm looking to deepen up the outer corner without it overtaking the look, I can achieve that. Sometimes with the black, if it's too strong, it can look like there's a black hole <laughs> on the outer corners of your eyes and it just looks off. This one blends very, very well. I, I love it. It's so good. It also makes for a fantastic liner shade as well. So if you're like me, that gets like a little irritated from certain eyeliners, especially like liquid liners, this makes for a fantastic above the lash line liner shade. Now the remaining shades in this palette are either a shimmer or a metallic formula. Regarding the two different finishes, I think the shimmers have it together in the metallic formula is just like just a, a touch messy. And if you're not careful, you could get glitter pregnant. <laughs> and it's funny because it's not all of them, it's just like some of them. For example, like the gold shade in Love Eyes I had that with, as well as like this pinkish shade in Confident Eyes. Those are the ones that I kind of just experienced a little bit too much fallout. But what I will say is, is that if you do your eye look first, it's fine. But I think cause like when you do your base and everything is set, it can, you know, be a little difficult to clean. So I just recommend you just doing your eye look first and then the rest of your base. That said, when applied to the eye, they really sparkle in such a beautiful way. You're able to layer them to see a really nice gradient and the longevity is fantastic. I applied these shades dry and they were okay, but they needed saturation to make them pop. And I also did use a glitter adhesive and for the most part, everything did stay into place. I didn't experience any sort of like spicy butthole chemical burn feel or any wrinkly sack textures when combining shades. So Bukaki aside, I do love these shadows. They're fantastic. While I did experience a slight bit of fallout with some of the shades, I will say that throughout the day, I don't experience any sort of glitter particles falling down my face. Everything does stay into place. That said, for $75, I'm not mad about this palette. Keep in mind, I did pick this up <laughs> when I purchased that god awful advent calendar. So um, yeah, if you are interested in seeing that video, I'll link it up in the corner. Spoiler alert, don't buy it, it's garbage. But um, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> Should have just got this and saved myself some money. So with that said, do I recommend checking this palette out? Absolutely, I think it's fantastic. Again, keep in mind, I don't have many of her palettes, so I can't say if the quality is exactly the same from her quads, but if you do have the Pillow Talk palette, then rest assured that the quality is pretty much the same. I think my only complaint about this palette is that I wish there were more mattes. And I say that because the only real crease shade is this shade right here. Everything else is kind of a little bit too dark to be a crease shade, in my opinion, especially on my see-through skin. So that's the only thing I would say is like, 
a negative. So I'm looking at other palettes for crease shades. I definitely can see the possibilities, yes, the possibilities within this palette, but I'm still going to be reaching for something else. I can only do this brown crease shade so much, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I do see myself getting my money's worth because I actually really like reaching for this palette. This actually might be one of my favorite holiday palettes that have come out so far. It's just, I wish there was a couple more mattes in here. That's the only negative I have. So if you are interested in checking this out, I think this would be a great buy. However, I will say if you do have that one palette that came out like two holidays ago or whatever, the color story is eerily similar. So <laughs> you probably don't need this, but if you are like me and you're kind of like new to the brand, listen, just uh, get your makeup dick wet. She'll thank me later. All right, moving on. Let's move on to the NARS High Profile Cheek Palette. So this bad boy retails for a whopping $59, and this is described as a holiday-themed blush, highlighter, and contour palette featuring six limited edition shades in one of NARS most innovative formulas. The packaging and the pan design is everything, okay? Everything. Usually I laugh at NARS because they're a try-hard uber-sexual brand that I am so convinced that their marketing team hasn't had sex in years, okay? So normally I don't pay two shits to their Too Faced grown-up antics. But then I saw this palette, I saw the pan embossing, and I lost my mind. This is a sexy fucking palette. Other palettes wish it could be this palette, okay? It's like bondage and s &M. It's everything that I want it to be and more, okay? And I love it because it's not like too on the nose and it's not orgasm. <laughs> This is absolutely stunning. That said, I was a little confused with the description of this palette because I purchased it in Sephora and in the description, it calls it like a blush, a highlighter and a contour palette. So I was kind of expecting that. But then when I got it in my hands, it's clearly a highlighter and blushes. But if I go to the NARS site, it doesn't have the exact same verbiage. I think there must've been something lost in translation on Sephora's part. I don't see the contour shade in this palette. Everything feels slightly rosy. So for me, this is just purely comprised of blushes and one highlighter. So let's talk about the highlighter highlighter first. It's the first shade up here and I can't use it. It's way too dark for my skin tone. I tried it so many ways. I tried it like under blush, over blush, under brown. Like I tried every possible way, but it's just too dark. It's to the point where it just looks like a dark stripe on my face and that sucks, but it's not the end of the world. You know, I could totally utilize it as an eyeshadow. Will I do that? Probably not. I feel like anybody who says that is just like looking for ways to justify something. And honestly, I know me, I'm not gonna do it. I'll, I could say it, I could lie to you and tell you, oh, I use this as an eyeshadow. I'm not gonna do that, okay? Okay. If anything, I'm just gonna look at it and be like, too bad I can't use you. Like that's what I'm gonna do. I definitely think this is perfect for somebody who has like a more of like a light medium skin tone. So let's talk about the blushes. The best way to describe this formula is a baked gelée. They're not powdery by any means. And depending on what brush you use can determine the strength of pigmentation. A dense brush will provide a stronger pigmentation than a fluffy brush that will give you more of a light wash of color. These blushes have a beautiful shimmer finish and I'm happy to report that it's not chock full of glitter. So I didn't notice any sort of like weird texture issues on my skin. While there is a little bit of shimmer in it it's not overly powerful it's just a nice little addition to your highlighter it's just it's really pretty i think these are really nice i like the formula of the blushes i love how they applied to my face they are incredibly pigmented but they are very buildable as well so i wanted to kind of go in with a lighter hand but if you do go in with a little bit of heavy hand you can blend them out to be a little bit softer so it's nice that you don't feel like you're stuck so yeah they were incredibly easy to use they had great longevity and i think the only real negative that i have is that on my uncooked chicken some of the shades kind of look the same. So a part of me wonders if one or two could have been omitted. I have two different blushes on my face and they pretty much look the same to me. So is this worth $59? Yes and no. I love the packaging. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm fucking in love with it. <laughs> now, had I known the highlighter wouldn't work for me and some of the blushes kind of look exactly the same on the face, I probably would have reconsidered purchasing this at full price. I would have tried this, but I would have totally waited for a Sephora sale, honestly. But on the other hand, I really did enjoy my time with this palette and it piqued my interest enough to check out future face palettes from this brand. So like, yeah, I like it. It's just, you know, I eh, can't really use one shade and, and then the other ones kind of like the same. So that's really my only gripe. But other than that formula, I really, really do enjoy. And they have really great longevity. Like cannot stress that enough. Like it's beautiful. So uh, yeah, NARS, you know, I know I literally make jokes at your expense all the time, but um, I see you. For the first time, I see you. And I like what I see. But seriously though, orgasm is dead. Girl, let it go. Let it go. All right, listen, this kind of applies to the next two brands that I'm gonna talk about. I was having some rough times at work. I have been working on a project for months. I lost hair, sleep, patience, yet oddly enough, kept getting fatter. But I was so annoyed that I needed a treat. And this is why I picked up the next two products, okay? So let's talk about <laughs> Prism Libre, not Libra, 
Libre highlighter. This retails for $46. This loose highlighter comes in a beautiful mirrored packaging, something I imagine you could do drugs off of, and the overall aesthetic is very similar to other loose powders from this brand. The highlighter is made up of two shades, pink and gold, but the mixture is straight up pure gold. I was hoping for more of a rose gold moment, but it's gold, but I don't care because you know why? It's fabulous. This shit is blinding, and this is precisely what I needed and what my body was craving. An alien slut holiday highlighter. Take me to your leader so I can fuck I'm wearing a Santa hat, okay? I'm not a huge loose highlighter fan, okay? Oftentimes I think they're messy and they're just stupid. But there was something about this that I was like, oh, it's so pretty and opulent and they kind of need to have it. And I don't have children, so it's fine. Like that's the excuses I make for myself. But in any case, the way that this makes me feel, I will make an exception. Loose highlighters are everything, okay? You do get a little powder puff with this product. I have no idea where I put it. It doesn't matter. I don't know why you would even use it. It's stupid. What you do do though is you take the cap off, you pour some product into the cap, you take a brush and you swirl. And I swear to you, all you have to do is just like one dip, like boop, that's it. That's all you need. You do not need to build it up. You just go one dip, you're blinding and you're shining and you're slutty and you're everything. And I love it. This highlighter is not glittery, which I am so thankful for because I hate highlighters that are just overly glittery because again, it's just bukkake flying everywhere and it's annoying. This is pure alien sex. This is pure meat sweats. I feel like I have food poisoning. I'm in love. It melts beautifully into the skin. It doesn't sit on top of it. It has excellent longevity and it doesn't emphasize any texture on the skin. It's absolutely perfect. This is not for the faint of heart. So if you're not into looking like a wet slut, Bethany, this is not for you, sis. But if you do like to live a little dangerously, okay, then this might be something worth checking out. That's all I'm gonna say. I honestly really like love this highlighter. Like I love it. And it makes me excited to want to try other stuff from this brand, especially in this line. This is fucking everything. So this is definitely a luxury purchase that was well worth the money and the blood sacrifice in my opinion. Okay, so we love her. Now, the last products I want to talk about are from Clay Depo. Full disclosure, I purchased these two products at Macy's, okay? And I had some star rewards to burn. All right, so keep in mind when I tell you the price of these products. Clay de Pau Luminizing Face Enhancer, okay? This is everything. I, oh my God, I love it. This retails for $95, yes, you heard right, $95 hairs. And this is described as an exquisite highlighting powder that uses innovative light diffusing technology to capture radiance and illuminate skin. Listen, I have been eyeing these powders forever now, okay? Because the packaging is everything. Even their normal packaging is really, really cute. It looks like a shattered diamond, like it's beautiful. But there was something about this one, this little lamp, in particular, this little, little lamp that looks like he's laughing at me because I spent so much money on this product. It just ate my heart and I was like, I need to have this. I need something to laugh at me every time I pick it up. Listen, I make no sense. Whatever. But you're here watching me, so you're welcome. Anyway, moral of the story, I'm a slut for packaging, okay? Call me shallow. It's fine. When this was announced, I remember talking about this in Makeup Bingo and I lost my shit. And I vowed that whenever it came out, I would purchase it. And lo and behold, it came out and I purchased it. And hands down, this is probably one of the most beautiful things I own in my collection. Like it's just, it's gorgeous. So when you do open her up, you get a nice size mirror, you get a small Barbie brush, and this clear piece of plastic that says, put this film back after use over the powder and brush. And for that price, it should have this. <laughs> now what's interesting about this product is that on top of it, it has this really shitty overspray of micro glitter. It's terrible. And since I wanna keep my glitter bukkake at a minimum, I took a large powder brush and just try to get as much off as humanly possible. There is some rogue sparkle still on the product, but for the most part, I got majority of the glitter bukkake off. Now, here's the thing. This product isn't what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I think the best way to describe this product is that it's probably one of the most natural looking highlighters I own. That's not a bad thing because people do like that, okay? There are people that love natural shit. And if you want to achieve that, you can. So I found that when I first applied the product with one swipe, I was like, where? Where the fuck is it for $95? This shit better come correct, okay? Like, where did it go? So I had to build the product up more and more and more. And what I will say, once you build it up, once you layer on 25 different layers of it, you do have this really beautiful, like ethereal pearlescent glow that just looks like, I don't 
now. Like it looks natural. Like it's weird. Like you know you have highlighter on. It just looks perfect. It looks insanely natural. As if like you took care of yourself and you never touched fast food, okay? It's like you have perfect skin, like a baby skin. Like it just, it looks great. It's weird, but also aspirational. Like I love it. <laughs> now the other thing about the product is that it's very, very powdery. Like it's super powdery. You're gonna get a lot of kick up when you're using it with the brush. However, on the face, it doesn't translate as like a huge powdery mess. Some highlighters that are super powdery, like you can just tell the actual powder is just not gonna buff into the skin and it's just gonna look like some just weird ass stripe of highlighter on the skin. This definitely melts in beautifully. So I'm torn because I like it, but I don't, think it's worth anywhere near the full retail value of it. Even at what I paid for, I think I paid, I think like 60 bucks or whatever, like after all the rewards and stuff. And that's still kind of fucking too high for it. So I mean, like this has to calm down a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Because like I said, it's beautiful. I love, it's very, very pretty, but it's just does not warrant that price tag. Even for the fun packaging aside, like nah fam. So yeah, had I paid full price for this, my makeup dick would have retracted into my body. And honestly, I don't have that money for that kind of surgery. This easily could be a makeup boner killer. But if you do get it at a deep, deep discount, it's lovely. So moving on to the next product. Yeah, where did it go? I had it on my mouth. Where did it go? Oh God, I gotta reapply. The longevity of this shit is garbage. Hmm. I don't know. Eh. Ugh. All right, let's talk about this thing. This is the Lipstick Shine. This retails for $65, and I got it in the shade Sunny Rose in Bloom. This is an ultra hydrating, sheer finish lipstick, limited edition shades that glide on smoothly to deliver lustrous color and shine. Listen, straight up, the only reason why I picked this up is because of the packaging. The packaging is fucking everything. It's too bad the product is not great. At first, this kind of reminded me of the Chantecaille Lip Sheiks, and then I experienced the longevity issue, and then I was like, oh no, no, why did I even compare the two? <laughs> it's weird, like this product, it's a little bit almost too juicy in a way, because when you first start to apply it, the product kind of like pills up a little bit. So you kind of need your finger to like just you know, just to even it out a scotch or whatever. And then it looks a little bit better, but it's kind of like a light wash of color, not like a full like pigmented lipstick. I'm not mad about, I like things like that. So I need things that are hydrating. So again, not mad, right? But then the more I wear this and the more I talk or I don't talk or if I drink or don't drink, actually it doesn't matter what the fuck I do, it leaves my face. <laughs> like after about 25 minutes or so, I have like maybe a touch of color on the top of my lip and nothing else. Like the longevity is garbage on this product. And oddly enough, after the 25 minute mark, I do feel like I need to put on chapstick or something just to give my mouth a little bit more moisture. So while it does leave my face, it also takes the moisture and hydration with it. So yeah, not a great product. Don't recommend this one. Even for the beautiful packaging, which ah, uh, this hands down has to be like one of the prettiest lipsticks I will ever own in my life. It's so garbage. Honestly, there's nothing unique about this product. I don't know why it's worth the price tag. I don't know, maybe rich people like the idea of lipstick leaving their face. I don't know, but I will never make that mistake of purchasing that ever again, unless the case is amazing. <laughs> So yeah, listen, I'm not returning it. Sometimes I like to look at my expensive mistakes because it keeps me grounded. So yeah, don't bother with the shit show. And by the way, if I paid $65, I would have lost my mind. Instead, I paid about 30. So still not worth 30 bucks. So to recap, I wasted my money so you don't have to. If you were gonna get anything, I say, listen, Charlotte Tilbury palette's great. The Givenchy highlighter is fun. And the NARS palette, worth checking out, but wait for the Sephora sale that's gonna be happening in November. That's when you buy that. You don't need to buy it right this second. Anyway, let me know down below if you have any of these products or if you want me to try other holiday releases, let me know because I love hearing from y'all. And with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, um, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron puppies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really shitty, but really trashy. Garbage boat flow. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces and I just kind of can't wait to gobble you all up. So make sure you leave cookies in your house and milk and I can be like Santa. What am I even saying? If you want to know what is currently on my face along with where to get these products, along with information on our lovely sponsor today, everything is listed in the description box below and I'll see you little cranberry sauces later. Bye.